so this is my home theater setup so i'm using a denon av receiver so there is a two subwoofer which is a 12 inch pioneer subwoofer so both are the dual voice coil so i connected in series so each four ohms so totally i am getting eight ohms each subwoofer actually this is a old av receiver i bought in 2016 so it supports dts x as well as dolby atmos both supports model also you can see here it is avr x 1200 w so it is a old receiver now so many receivers are available in market and this is starting of a dolby atmos when i bought in 2016 so 7.2 channel totally 80 watts into two channel power totally totally seven channels so if you see the speakers i am using only the assembled speakers not uh, used any branded speaker so this is the front lift speaker i'm using a six inch dainty speaker you can see here i'm just opening so six inch dainty and the three inch pioneer tweeter so don't tutor so working very well it's assembled the one the right side also the same setup six inch two inch pioneer tutor So this is the Sony TV, 15 inch full HD TV, so this is also older 2015 I bought, so 15 inch triluminous display working very fine, so very good display TV. So center channel you see, this is customized by myself, so totally 4 speakers I am used in that 3 inch award. I will see the rear speakers so totally two top speaker and it is used for uh, Atmos and TTS X, X sound and these are the two rear speakers I am showing one by one so all these four speakers I am using only the four inch speaker full range speaker and a two inch tutor again this also assembled one working well so good quality sound i am getting so this one is a front rear lift so rear right you can see this is rear right speaker all are full range speakers just switching on the lights so this is the top speaker top right just directing downwards to the listener so top right left so again i am showing just uh, the setup so you can see the so various devices i am using here so devices means uh, DTH I am using, so Airtel, Airtel DTH, also the Amazon Fire Stick also I am using, so DTH is uh, Dolby supported, so I am getting Dolby audio, so Sony Blu-ray player, as you know it is a 3D Blu-ray player, that is also again it is a old one. I will show the subwoofer so this is the main thing so it is a powerful subwoofer again it is also a customized subwoofer so pioneer and the, it is very sturdy that is the thickness of the wood is one inch so heavy so setup is a JBL setup inside So 
working heavy punch so i'll show one more subwoofer so this is on the left from front from front it is right right subwoofer left also same thing pioneer but the model number is different so this is a latest model so this also dual voice coil subwoofer so both are working in a single assembled amplifier so which is uh, fixed back of this subwoofer i am again and again i am just changing the assembled amp for uh, getting a different uh, sound output i will show so back side you can see that is the assembled amp and is also made in the wooden box so i'm getting good punch result but it is only each four transistor based subwoofer that is the amplifier output power is by four transistor only but working good i'm getting a good punch so now i showing some of the settings i just uh, given in my uh, avr receiver you can see so top middle so support dolby atmos dts x so it just directly comes in the receiver but anyhow if the input which means if you are giving the input atmos then only we are getting the sound the source it should be available otherwise you will not get the sound output so various settings so subwoofer lfe plus main which is a front speaker plus main main is the front speaker lfe is the low frequency so this is my settings according to you you can set to any settings so whichever is possible and uh, working well you can use that i am just to showing for reference and this is the rdc setup i am using the reference so after uh, running the rdc setup it just according to the speaker size speaker uh, position so it will automatically it will uh, set the equalizer settings so reference i am getting the full dynamic sound so so many changes are there you can change it to flat or you can just uh, bypass the front left speaker also manually can set the crossover and uh, equalizer crossover it is normal all speaker you can manually set the equalizer it is manual or audc setup in audc i am getting good result the mic position it is uh, finding the speaker sound all the things is clear and giving the good output so now i will show some of the files so in sony blu ray player so that is nothing that is simply a audio files a demo files which is i down, downloaded from various sites for uh, running the demos like uh, dts x dolby atmos so some of the sound demo i'm just showing the file not playing so dolby leaf uh, dolby ms so all things are uh, working very well i'm getting a good sound output i already shared some of the videos also so so many of you are asking what is the setup cost how we are getting the atmos sound so so many things 
and just I'm putting the video also for uh, you only for just showing how the setup I having so again I'm showing just the rear speakers setup so two rear speaker and two top speaker which is for Atmos and uh, DTCX sound so if you are properly giving a source you are getting a good sound that is the main thing simply you are not getting the Atmos or DTCX sound only the basic 5.1 sound only will get if you are getting or if you are giving the good source then you will get Again, these are the various devices I used. So currently I'm using so totally five remotes. So one is for a Blu-ray player, one is for a Denon AVR, one is for a Sony TV, one is for Amazon Fire Stick, and one is for Apple DTH. So these are the devices I'm using in that home theater setup. Each and every one is important here. So Sony TV center speaker I already explained. So center speaker is four three inch award speaker and a two two inch tweeter. That is uh, customized by myself. I only designed, I only made. That is also working fine. So, this is again the Denon receiver. So, you can see here the above the receiver, I am using a Zebronix CPU type cooler. So, main issue I am facing here is uh, this is a closed cabinet. So, heating issue is a big problem. Using that CPU cooler working fine, some heat is reduced. I think mean, this is the subwoofer. So, I think this model is a D10 D4 model, that is a dual voice coil, each 4 ohms D10, I think, and this is a D12, this is a D4. So again, uh, dual voice coil, two four ohms, D12. So this one I bought uh, two years back, I think. Both are working fine, working well, and we're doing good sound, good dynamic, and the bass. So soon I will change the branded speaker also.